up, bitches? And by bitches, I mean this freaking yellow motherfucker. Anyway, uh, what we're doing today, another cooling system problem. This is the third one on this thing so far. If you remember right, a year and a half or so ago, uh, I did the uh, thermostat down in that little hole right there. Showed everybody how to make it into like a 45 minute job or less, even though the dealership wants like 1400, 1700, I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's a pretty fucking gravy job. Um, and the radiator, uh, showed you all how to do that, even though I started doing it completely wrong, and then I uh, fixed it at the end there uh, on how to do it. And you can do it way, way faster than you're supposed to. Um, a couple little screws on the side, and radiator comes right out. However, we did we did the water pump today, and unfortunately, I had to suck the old uh, uh, O'Reilly's deck here uh, and buy a house brand because I can't get a dealership one fast enough. Because this is my daily driver, and I got to get my kid to school in the morning, and da 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 da, and the truck's down, and whatever. So anyway, how do you get this uh, water pump replaced? This one's pretty freaking easy. Um, you have three fasteners holding your beauty cover, which is not really pretty in my case. A uh, little square hole right there, a little uh, other hole right there, and then on the fastener side, way down there, there's another one. Uh, the one that goes into the valve cover is the longer bolt. I got mine sitting up there. The other two sitting right there, but they'll be back in place. Other things you got to unhook. You got eight millimeter onto the side here. You got eight millimeter on, off the mass airflow sensor and an eight millimeter coming in from this way or this way or something like that, I forgot, on the throttle body. And you gotta get reach under here and give her the old uh, little uh, finger diddle uh, to pop from the uh, crankcase uh, uh, relief there. And take off your oil cap, filler cap, and work it off the throttle body this way and then up and out and it comes right out, no problem. Next thing you're gonna run into is, uh, I would say, Crack your four little fasteners, leave the belt on, to hold the uh, water pump pulley, just crack them so that they're loose. Uh, take a 15 millimeter, put it onto the, uh, onto the center pulley bolt on your tensioner, right there. Tension it that, di that direction. Um, pop the belt off at that point in time. Uh, take your four little bolts on your uh, water pump out, pull your pulley off to the side, and you've made good progress. From there, now begins the fun. And by fun, I don't think it was fun, but whatever. You got three bolts holding your alternator on. You have to take the alternator off. You have to take the alternator off because you gotta get the bracket that holds the alternator in place off. You have to get that off because there are two bolts behind, uh, behind it for the bottom corner of that water pump. So there are three bolts on the uh, alternator. The top one, which you can clearly see, and the bottom two. Now, maybe you can go from underneath and get the bottom ones. I didn't. I did 100% of this all from above. Uh, top one, take it out. The bottom one, you unscrew it. I don't I don't think there's enough clearance on the firewall or the frame rail to actually get the bolt out. You just leave it in the alternator for a second. And then on the back one, it's a 15 millimeter. But you only have to crack it loose like two or three threads. And the uh, there's a U slot on that back uh, mounting point of the alternator, allowing you to lift the alternator off of that bolt. Set the bolt uh, alternator to the side. I didn't even unplug mine. I just let it, let it sit up in there. You then have four 13 millimeter headed fasteners. There's one in this hole right here I'm pointing at. There's one you can clearly see right there. There's one, maybe you can kind of see it right here, below this pulley. Um, and then there is one behind where the alternator is, a little short one. And all three of those bolts are different lengths. So don't mix them up. It really won't matter. I mean, I don't think you can fuck it up, but you know, maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, pull that bracket completely out of the vehicle, um, around the water, or the uh, alternator. Then I'm gonna say there's like 14 uh, 10 millimeter fasteners holding the water pump in place. Now this is one of those things where they are different lengths. I think there's only two different lengths um, some that are about, you know, inch and a half, two inches long or whatever, and then there's some that are like one inch long. Um, the longer ones each have a rubber grommet centering thing in there that GM likes to use. You can use, transfer those over or not, it's up to you. Um, once you get those four 14 bolts off, you tap off the water pump. Mine was a little funny, uh, the alignment dowel down there did not really want to release, and it took a little bit of doing, but it came right out. Make sure you got a catch pan underneath it because you're going to dump all your coolant out. 
Um, and uh, installation reverse load removal, I guess. And uh, put it all put it all back together. Tools I used. I had a battery impact and battery ratchet, but if you don't have that, you can get by with just this, which you will need a ratchet anyway. Um, I used a shorty 15 to speed up the alternator bolts removal and a longer 15. Um, I used both a long, deep and short well 15, a deep and short well 13, um, three different extensions, a 10 millimeter deep well, which I don't think really mattered. That part's not really necessary. You could have did it with a shallow one. And an 8 millimeter, which you could have got with any 8 millimeter or 5 16 you want. And that's uh, a little uh, catch can to catch whatever coolant. And uh, you should be able to do this job. And eh, if you're reasonably competent, there's no reason why you can't have this done hour. Um, I've already put in almost a whole gallon of, uh, I bought, you know, Crestone uh, Concentrate. You get, ideally get GM stuff, but whatever. Any Dex Cool Orange will work. Uh, buy the Concentrate because you're going to need at least two gallons. That's why I do that. And try not to reuse your old stuff unless you absolutely have to. Peace out, bitches, and hope plenty of you cunts out there learned something. And if you didn't, if you couldn't fucking follow along with what I'm saying in my description, you are an incompetent person and you should just let it go to a shop. Peace out, bitches.